In this module, we'll talk about that how we can uh, control the addition of the anti-foaming agent when we use the foam control by chemical methods, by using some chemicals having anti-foam effect or for the deforming effect. There is two choices. When there is a foam, then we add manually. Either we have an automatic control of a foam control system. The modern fermenters have automatic system. As concerned the automatic control system, then there are the different probes which first sense the formation of the foam. So, foam is typically detected by using two conductivity which we called as level probes. In some cases we can uh, if you study the literature then their wet on and wet off probes are mostly reported. So, these are basically two conductivity or a level probes. One probe is immersed in the fermentation liquid and the while other one placed above the liquid medium. So, one is dipped and one remain on the just in the head space of that that how much foam capacity you can sense. So, the when foam reaches the upper probes a current is carried through the foam. So, when the foam will produce and when that touch to the upper level so that sense and then there is a signal toward that by just signaling that then the pump will on. So, that the result of the addition of the anti foam. So, in this slide you can see that the same representation of that here you can see that uh, one bottle that is attached with the, the material containing uh, anti foam. So, this is a medium this is the level probe and this one is the low level probe. So, in case of when the foam is produced in the next slide you can see when the foam is produced and foam touch with the upper level probe what happen then this pump will on that is sensed by this associated with this probe what happen then there is a drop of the anti foam start entering into the fermentation vessel. So, that is why that is that, but in this case when we try to use this wet down and wet off system or a level probe sometimes in a fermentation it is a practical problem that uh, because this whole fermentation process is a uh, aqueous. Sometimes what happen when there is a vapors produced and that vapors touch to that upper level probe what happen they give a negative signal to that pump by which the anti foam addition remain a constant process. So, we have to be very careful about in such cases when there is evaporation and then there is wet on or a wet off conditions in case of such uh, uh, vapors condition when they touch and have a wrong signaling. So, that is very careful about uh, the foam control with the up automatic control system. So, this is some limitation while using this uh, anti foam control automatic control system.